With InVideo AI, you can generate a video with a script, voiceover, video footage, and music using simple prompts. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how you can create videos right now using InVideo AI, the best video generator for beginners in 2024. Here we are on the InVideo.io website where it reads, create videos using 5,000 plus pre-made templates with nvideo.io forward slash studio. Create videos with text prompts, publish ready videos with zero video creation skills, type any topic and NVIDIA AI creates a video with script, visuals, subtitles, voiceover and music. Then there is a button prompting you to try in video AI and below this a video example of the quality of video that you can generate when using in video AI. In this tutorial I want you to focus on the top right hand corner where it reads sign up or log in. If you don't have an account you need to select sign up and sign up using an email. Make sure you have access to your email as you will need to use this in order to find a code that you need to enter during the sign up process. In this example, I'm going to select log in because I already have an account with InVideo AI. Once you log in, you will be faced with this page where it reads, give me a topic and detailed instructions. You can see there are over 25,000 characters that you can enter into this section here. That's going to be overwhelming for beginners. That's why you have this very helpful tool below called workflows and plugins. I'm going to select explore all. Here you have a few workflows. YouTube explainer, script to video if you already have a script, YouTube shorts, news videos, TikTok video, Instagram reels. When I select one of these workflows, it's going to give me a form where I can enter the information that the AI can use to generate the video, making it easier to create your video using this AI. There is also plugins with a blue crown symbol next to it, meaning that this is a pro paid feature of InVideo AI. As a beginner, you might not be using this, but let's tell you what this is anyway. Clone your voice is where you speak into this AI and then it can clone and replicate your voice as narration for a video. So the narration that it will create will sound like your voice that you enter into InVideo AI. That is a paid feature and if you want to upgrade, you can do so by selecting this button in the top right hand corner on InVideo AI. As this is for beginners, we're going to continue to use the free version of this AI. Next, let's select one of these workflows. In this example, I'm going to select YouTube Explainer. Now we have a form where we can enter the relevant information that the AI can then use to create your video. This reads, create a, and then there's a drop down menu, YouTube video about. If you select this drop down, this is where you're deciding the length of your video when you're creating a YouTube explainer. In this example, I'm going to select two minutes. Then it reads, give me an engaging topic and things we should talk about and not talk about. I want this video to be about David Beckham and parts of his career. Let's type David Beckham at Manchester United. Do not talk about the manager. The manager at the David Beckham football team, also known as soccer, was Sir Alex Ferguson at Manchester United while David Beckham played for that team. I haven't mentioned Sir Alex Ferguson's name because I want to test the AI to see if it would still accidentally mention Sir Alex Ferguson's name with the video creation. Next, we need to enter any relevant facts or opinions about the video. I'm going to put David Beckham was a world-class player. 
I haven't given any information about the sport of football. This AI is so intuitive that it will recognize that David Beckham is a football player without me giving that information. This is what makes this AI great and brilliant for beginners when creating videos using AI. I'm also going to correct Manchester because it's a capital letter. I'm also going to give a capital letter to United as it's the name of a football team. Next up, the background music. You can decide the tone and genre of the background music that is used in your video. In this example, I'm going to type pop music upbeat and inspiring. Just going to close that space between pop and music. Now a very impressive part of this AI here. You can select the language that is used in the narration of your video. At the moment it has English selected but if I select this drop down you can see that you can select a variety of languages ranging from German, French, Italian, Japanese and a lot more meaning you can change the language of the video that you create using InVideo AI. Once you've selected the language of your video narration and video in total, you can decide how the narration sounds and the type of tone it's reading from the script. I'm going to type upbeat and happy. Next up, the settings. When I select this drop down, you can see that I can select from a male voice or a female voice. As we're using the free version, of NVIDIA AI, those are the two options we have. But if you were using the upgraded pro version, you'd be able to select from your own voice. In this example, I'm going to use a female voice. In the next drop down, you can see that you can use variety of accents and more. I can select from a clear American voice, or I can go down the list and select another option. For example, a Northern English voice. And there is a lot more that you can experiment with in this section here. This is going to decide how your voiceover sounds. Even though I've selected English language, I can still select Japanese voice. I'm going to use French voice in this example to see what happens to the narration. You can add more than one voice. So in this section here, there's a plus symbol. I'm going to select this and you can add a separate voice. Now I'm going to make it sound distinctly different from the first voice narration that we have in the video. I'm going to make it male and a clear American voice. Next up, subtitles. These subtitles will be created in your video and you can decide this type of style of subtitle that you use. There are quite a few options here. Select the one that you're happy with. In this example, I'm going to select a clean subtitles with outline. In this next section, you can choose to use iStock. iStock is a service that provides pictures and videos for you to use. There is a paid version of iStock where there are no watermarks. So on top of your video images, when you're using iStock with the free version of NVIDIA AI, you will have watermarking on your images. If of course your video is using these images, you can change the frequency of these iStock pictures in your video. For example, when I select the drop down here, there are a few options to change how many iStock images you are using in your AI generated video. You can select don't use iStock, use fewer iStock, use iStock as needed, give iStock preference over others, only use iStock. In this example, I'm going to leave iStock as needed. In the next option here, you're deciding where your music comes from. This reads use YouTube audio library, which is a free, audio library where you can get music for your videos to use on YouTube. As we selected a YouTube explainer video, this is the option that is given to us. But you can also use other types of audio in your video. For example, use Storyblocks audio only. Storyblocks is another service which provides audio for media creations or video creations. In this example, I'm going to use the YouTube audio library only. Once you're happy with the information that you've entered here, as opposed to writing all of this out in a description for the AI to use, and you're happy with all of the information that you have in each section, select continue. Here, it's going over the information that you have now entered to be generated into a video. You can see how many characters there are in the description and you can add anything that you want to add. In this example, we're going to select generate a video and the AI will begin to create the video 
for you as you can see on screen it's analyzing the information that you've given the ai it's now thinking about how it's going to create the different elements of the video including the script the ai has now understood the information that you have given it and it's given you a few options to tweak how the video should be created audience are the different types of audiences the video will target in its creation process for example sports fans football enthusiasts beckham fans in this example i'm going to select beckham fans now the look and feel of your video inspirational energetic and clean in this example i'm going to leave it as inspirational so an inspirational video for david beckham fans then we have what platform is this video for? So we did select a YouTube explainer video, but you can target the audience depending on platform. YouTube Shorts is a different type of video. Facebook is an entirely different platform. In this example, I'm going to select YouTube. Once I'm happy with a different look and feel audience and platform for this video, I'm going to select continue for that AI to use that information. We are now in a queue. This queue will go down quite quickly because in video AI is extremely good at generating these videos fairly quickly. During the creation process, you will see some relevant information on the screen. For example, right now we have a title for the video generated by the AI and it reads, bend it like Beckham. And then there is Manchester United, I'm assuming that is written next. We can't see the whole title just yet, but we're just waiting for the video to be processed. Currently at 21% as you're given a timeout down below to give you an example or a reference to when the video is going to be completed. Now our video has been created by the AI and you can see an example of it on screen right now. Let's have a look to see what it's created and I can press play on this player right here. Let's take a look. Ah, David Beckham at Manchester United. What a saga of sheer brilliance and unforgettable moments. Let's dive into some of the iconic highlights that defined Beckham's legendary tenure at the club. First up, who could forget that astounding goal from the halfway line against Wimbledon in 1996? Just a young lad at the time, Beckham saw the keeper off his line. Now there's something to note here, while you're previewing your video, this is not the full quality of your video until you export. But before we jump into the export of the video, let's have a look at what we can do with it down below. So there are a few things that you can do. You can select edit or give the AI a command to edit the video further. So for example, let's say the video, you want it to be longer, you want to change something to do with the subtitles, you can select that right here and then you can generate the information and the change. For example, delete the second chapter, it's not really relevant. It's something that you can do just to give you an example of the different changes that you can make to your finished video. In this example, we're going to export, but I wanted to give you that you can actually make changes to the video and it's not finished just yet. Let's select export because there's some more relevant information I need to give you in this tutorial for beginners using NVIDIA AI to generate videos. Let's select export. Right here, there are a few options available. So this video could be in 4K if you had the paid version. You also have a few other options, for example, normal, subtle, none. What that's talking about is the NVIDIA AI branding. Now the NVIDIA AI branding will appear at the end of the video in a full screen and it will say the NVIDIA logo. You can remove this when you're using the paid version of the NVIDIA.io AI. Because we're using the free version, I'm going to select normal and you have the normal amount of NVIDIA branding throughout the video. That includes your name of your account in the top right hand corner of the video. Stock watermarks. These are the watermarks that appear on any stock footage or stock images that the AI has used when creating the video. You can remove this when using the paid version of NVIDIA, but because we're using a free version, I'm going to select stock watermarks and it will leave the watermarking over the top of any images of the stock that have been used from, for example, iStock. Then there are actual resolutions that you can select for your video. So there's not one resolution, there are a multiple selection of resolutions that you can choose from. You can export in 720p, 480p or 4K. As you can see, 4K resolution is not available to free users of NVIDIA AI. In this example, 
I'm going to select 1080p. Once I'm happy with my selection here and you're happy with your selection, select continue and you can export your video. As you can see, NVIDIA AI is now exporting and rendering the video. The video is now rendered and exported and you can now download it to your device. This is where you can download your video once it's rendered. If I scroll down, you can see there is a download prompt. I'm going to select this to download the video. There is also a drop down that you can select. If you select the drop down, you can download subtitles. This is for the paid version of InVideo only. If you want to download your subtitles, to use elsewhere. We've just finished downloading the video. Let's take a look. The video is ready and you can see that I stock image, that watermark because we use the free version, a subtitle and more. Let's take a look at the finished video. Ah, David Beckham at Manchester United. What a saga of sheer brilliance and unforgettable moments. Let's dive into some of the iconic highlights that defined Beckham's legendary tenure at the club. First up, who could forget that astounding goal from the halfway line against Wimbledon in 1996? Just a young lad at the time, Beckham saw the keeper off his line and with impeccable precision, launched the ball from the halfway line straight into the net. This wasn't just a goal, it was a declaration of the arrival of a footballing superstar. Moving on, Beckham's prowess in dead ball situations was just magical. His free kicks were things of beauty, curved with the grace of a ballet dancer and the precision of a sniper. The most memorable, the 1999 game against Tottenham. Manchester United needed to win to clinch the Premier League title and Beckham delivered right when it mattered. His free kicks swerved into the... Beckham's time at Manchester United was more than just about football. It was a chapter... Thanks for walking down memory lane with me, reliving some of the golden moments of David Beckham's career at Manchester United. Thank you for watching this beginner's tutorial of NVIDIA AI that you can use to generate videos.